Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome back to Perfect Smiles with me, Dr. Sara Sadek, aka Dr. Gum Gums, a channel designed to deliver you up-to-date dental care advice to help you maintain a healthy mouth. We have exciting plans ahead for you, so keep watching this space and follow us on gumgums.co.uk for lots of exciting news. Today's video is about one of the most important topics in dentistry, which is gum disease. This is a really big topic, so I've produced a series of videos to cover the signs and symptoms of gum disease, including those you can look for yourself, the causes of gum disease, and how to treat it. So please make sure you subscribe so that you can receive this really important information. Gum disease affects people from both developed and developing countries, with approximately 20 to 50% of the world's population suffering from it. It has a high prevalence in adolescents, adults, and the older population, which makes it a public health concern. Severe gum disease is the 11th most prevalent disease globally and results in the loss of our teeth. And of course, our teeth are extremely important. We use them for smiling, we use them to communicate with one another. They allow us to talk clearly. And of course, most importantly for many of us, they allow us to eat comfortably. So the first question I'm going to be tackling is understanding how you, the general public, can recognize gum disease. Gum disease is a condition in which our gums become sore, swollen, red, and infected. It is less common in children, with most adults experiencing it to some degree at least once in their lifetime. One of the first symptoms that can help you spot gum disease is noticing that your gums bleed when you brush your teeth. You may also have bad breath. You may also notice a discolored plaque layer on the surface of your teeth. This is an early stage of gum disease, and the technical name that we give this stage is gingivitis. Gingivitis left untreated can progress to a condition called periodontitis. Often, once it's progressed to this next stage, you aren't given any obvious signs that can alert you to it. However, some of the symptoms that you may experience over time include increased bleeding from your gums, which may be provoked by something as simple as eating, or it may even be spontaneous. You may notice, or your friends and family may notice, that you have bad breath. Your teeth may move in their position in your jaw, so you may notice that some of your teeth start to move and drift apart or stick out. You may also notice that your teeth appear longer. This is where the gums have receded. And in severe cases, you may also suffer from pain. Now, something to bear in mind is that if you are a smoker, the bleeding is less obvious. However, this doesn't mean that you can't suffer from gum disease. All that happens is that the nicotine present in smoking affects the blood vessels so that the condition is masked. It may happen that the condition of periodontitis is often not recognized by a person until they may reach the age of 40 or 50 years old, by which time a great deal of damage will have already happened. However, a dentist will be able to spot the early signs of the disease at your routine examination, and your dentist can monitor the disease to make sure it doesn't progress, or indeed, the condition improves and reverses. Why is it so important that we're aware of periodontitis, the more advanced stage of gingivitis? Well, periodontitis, left untreated, causes the supporting structures around your teeth to become chronically inflamed. This causes the bone in the jaw to get destroyed, which can eventually lead to tooth loss. In many people, this is a very gradual process which can take place over years, and if detected early, it can be treated. However, there are some young adults which can suffer from a very severe and active form of the disease, which can result in early loosening of the teeth. That's why it's so important that you go to your dentist to get your checkups. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been useful at explaining what gum disease and periodontitis are. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments section below and I promise I'll get back to you. So please keep watching the following series of videos where I'll be answering more questions all about gum disease. Thank you for watching, take care and see you soon and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!